I think my furniture handles better than this plane, but this plane got some uh, awesome speeds. I mean, there's a little town here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss 001 video, and welcome back to an airport, but we're not at any airport in any game, but this is BMNG. If you don't know BMNG, it is probably the most awesome game ever. Let me just introduce you why, okay? Okay, BMNG, as you might know, it's just a timeless classic. It's one of my favorite games. It's always fun to play. You never get tired of it. Let me just say that, okay? It's basically a car simulator. It can also fly planes, which is exactly what we're gonna do today, right? That has an interesting feature to it, and that is a realistic, I think, crash animation. So put it this way, all right? So if we drive this electric car here, here we go. If we drive that into a wall at full speed, I mean, we're pretty fast here, this electric car. There we go. Look, we've got crash animations. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Actually, to be honest, I don't think it's too realistic. It's a very sensitive. It's like all the cars, all the planes that we're going to see later on were made out of like um, some material that's not particularly strong, like copper, I'm thinking now. Maybe everything's made of copper, which is, you know, again, not very um, strong. I mean, look at this. Look at this car just completely dies when we just drive it into a wall particularly not a super realistic but that's the fun part we can destroy stuff i mean we can do this all day we can just stick with cars i mean this is an incredibly fast electric car let's maybe drive this all the way down this runway here and we go let me go to cockpit view too there we go great now we're at 250 kilometers per hour very crazy fast let's go Ha! Look! Look what this car looks like! <laughs> yeah! Welcome back to Swiss Desert 1. This was the most awesome video ever. No, really, this is a timeless game. This came out in 2014, actually. It's pretty old, but, you know, it still holds up very well. And, you know, we have done videos and videos about it, and we haven't done one in a year, though. Okay, so I think I should do one again. So, let's maybe see here. We have the selector, and here we can check out some mods that you can download. Of course, if anyone remembers this one, this is the B-52 Michelle. If you're familiar with this uh, simulator, with this game, uh, then you might know that this is probably the most realistic uh, add-on or well, mod you can get for this flight simulator. It is uh, very nicely modeled. Every part actually gets destroyed very easily. Uh, you have two views. I have the onboard cockpit two, which is, you know, the actual, the, the, the weapon, uh, weaponry thing. And actually you can shoot weapons here. That's, that's just a crazy part. We also have the normal cockpit from the flying. Let's just actually go ahead and take off. See, this is super interesting. Now for this video, I'm just gonna not be able to use my joystick though, because this is after all, not like a super high realistic simulator that simulates all the features that a flight simulator normally has. Let's just throw that away. That was dumb. I need a new one anyway. All right. Let's just fly this plane with keyboard then. I think, as far as I remember, you accelerate with T. Okay. Full power on the throttle. Now we have a problem. I don't know how to control rudder and everything else. But that introduces us to our very wonderfully looking crash animations. Isn't that satisfying? Look how the wing fell apart. Yeah, our nose cockpit is gone. This is what our actual cockpit looks like now. A little damaged. Where's that weaponry cockpit? Is it like, oh, it's all the way over there. Rest in peace. Yeah, you don't want to be sitting here up front when you're crashing. No. All right, let's go ahead and take the uh, take off again. Let's see, see these were. Oh, I found the I found the buttons, guys. I found it. All right, great. We can now fly this plane, which is now actually the scary part. Now, again, I've already said this. This kind of feels like all the planes, all the cars are made out of p copper, which is true. I mean, look, look how this plane shakes when we do movement. That was that was not a good idea. That was not a, that that's not a good idea. All right, we have now one engine left. We have now one wing left and we're dead now. See, especially here, this plane is incredibly sensitive, okay? It just falls apart when we do this, right? Or it feels like it. Look how it shakes and everything. This is probably not how the real B-25 flies, but that makes it, you know, awesome. You know, we're just flying this plane around. It feels like, oh no, something is wrong. Oh, something is genuinely wrong. Oh wow, what is wrong? Okay, we just crash into the ocean. The thing is, when you crash into the ocean with this plane, I remember now, then the plane, the simulator just crashes. All right, I just want to see, can we do a normal takeoff and maybe even a normal normal landing, because that is obviously important too. So, I don't know, just flying this plane feels like, oh, I just want to be on the ground again. And that is really the fun part, again. Now, this barely flies. Let me just try to do this as relaxed as possible. Put the landing gear up. That works too wonderfully, huh? There we go. Landing gear's up. Everybody, this is finally looking like a good flight, huh? Here's the flap. Okay, I know how to control the flaps now. They're coming down too. See, I'm really starting to get a little bit familiar with the B-25. See, the thing is, this plane is probably so, you know, nicely modeled here that I, if I whatever to do a B-25 video, then I would probably do it here in the BeamNG flight simulator. To be honest though, I don't really have anything to talk about the B-25. 
Oh, goodness. We're... Oh, I don't know. I, I don't like how this plane flies. What's this noise? What's this rattling? Doesn't sound super healthy. All right, then. So, let me turn out. Come in for landing here again at this airport here on this Italian island or something. It's just one of those maps that there are here in the game. You can download a lot of maps. This is the cool thing about this game here, really. You can download everything. Kind of like an actual flight simulator. We also can add everything on. Here, you can do the same thing. All right. Let's go ahead and now put the landing gear down. Get the flaps down, too. Just like as we... We're in an actual flight simulator that's somewhat flyable. This is scary, okay? Just the fact that we're flying with keyboard, okay? This is... I don't like this, but it's great. It's just great. Okay. The runway is ahead. We can see it come up. And we... Actually, let's go to the cockpit. Can we do that? Oh, that's scary now. That is generally scary now. All right, great. Maybe more power here because we're losing quite a bit of speed. This plane isn't particularly the most powerful one. I'm a little scared about that fact. Okay, let's go ahead. Come on. Can we come in? All right, coming down for a landing. Let's maybe do this nicely. I think I've never done a proper landing here in the in BeamNG, so let's do this. We have this runway here. Let's go ahead and touch down. Come on. Can you do this? All right, that's been a touchdown. We may or may not have damaged something, but that's great. Let's go ahead and stop. Stop, all right? Stop. Okay, good. Okay, there we go, guys. We have actually done this. There's something wrong with the plane now. It's shaking a little bit, but that's great. Let's maybe try taking off again, see if that plane still works, because it doesn't appear like it's still going to work. Hmm. Well, that hasn't... hasn't worked, huh? God damn it. But we did land, and we did actually survive in the beginning, before our cockpit was uh, removed by our engines. Great. Welcome aboard the plane, everybody. We're now upside down. Okay, then. Let me try <laughs> some other planes, too, because we have some more. Um, I do want to try something that we have not I've never actually tried on the channel before. Okay, so there is this add-on here with a school bus, okay? And there is a school bus that has wings. Yes. Wings. Okay. Wings. Let's do this. Okay, let's go ahead and put those jet hose on. Okay. That'll give us uh, some more speed. Okay. Then we need to care about how to get this plane off into the air. I think I found it. Okay, I found it. I found the switch. I found I found the buttons. Everybody, we have now reached peak of the Swiss 001 channel. We're flying now a school bus into the water. No, 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 wrong way. Ah, uh, goddammit. How does this not work at all? This is so weird. Okay. All right, I found, I think, the right keystrokes here. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, let's not crash. There we go. See, I think my furniture handles better than this plane, but this plane got some uh, awesome speeds. Okay, let's maybe try coming in for a landing or something. I think we can land everywhere. This is now a bus too. We can land probably on like a... Maybe we've got a highway down there. I don't like how this plane flies now. It's uh, It does not fly at all. We're probably going to crash into a mountain then. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we are. We are. Okay, everybody. Uh, last prayer. It's time. I mean, there's a little town here. We almost crashed into an actual road that was closed, so that was actually a, an approved one, goddammit. Alright, school bus, let's do this. Full power here on the school bus. Is every one of the passengers ready? Let's go. We have no passengers on board, actually. It's a little sad. Alright, let's take off right there. Very realistic. Oh no! Oh wow, that's been a crash. Alright, we have damaged our little nose here. Thing still goes, of course. Still flies. This we have rockets on board. I mean, they can get everything flying, pretty much. Okay, come on. Oh no, we're dead now again. Come on. Rest in peace. Now we've become Sully again. So yeah, that is uh, just going back to the beautiful BeamNG flight simulator. There's so much stuff you can do and it's so awesome. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk about it again. So that's great that I have it. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.